the living world. Characteristics of living organisms Living organisms exhibit some distinct observable characters which distinguish them from non-living matter. They are Nutrition All living organisms need food which forms an important source of energy. Metabolism is a defining feature of all living organisms. Irritability Living organisms respond to changes in both the internal and external environments. Growth Living organisms exhibit growth from within using the food obtained from nutrition. Reproduction Living organisms have the ability to perpetuate life, thereby ensuring the survival of the species. Movement Animals locomote from place to place while lower organisms and plants show movements of body parts. Binomial Nomenclature Binomial Nomenclature is the universally accepted scientific naming system of organisms proposed by Carolus Linnaeus. In this two-word naming system, each organism has two Latin names, a genus name beginning with an uppercase letter and a species name beginning with a lowercase letter as represented in the example. The Taxonomic Hierarchy The process of classifying organisms led to the establishment of the taxonomic hierarchy in which species occupy the lowest category and the kingdom occupies the highest category. In the taxonomic hierarchy depicted here, observe that the species form the basic unit of classification. Closely related species group together to constitute a genus. A number of related genera constitute a family. Related families are grouped into orders, orders into class, and classes into phyla. Many related phyla are grouped into a kingdom. Organisms with their taxonomic categories. The taxonomic hierarchy of some plants and animals are tabulated here. Note their common name, biological name, genus, family, order, class, and the phylum they belong to. Herbarium A herbarium is a storehouse of collected plant specimens that are dried, pressed, and preserved on sheets. These herbarium sheets are then arranged according to an accepted system of classification. The herbarium sheets also carry information about date and place of collection, local and botanical names, family, collector's name, etc. It serves as a quick reference guide for people involved in taxonomic studies. Observe the stacks of herbarium sheets arranged in a herbarium in the visual shown above. Importance of Zoological Parks Zoological parks or zoos are places where wild animals are kept in protected environments under human care and allowed to breed. Zoological parks help us to know about wild animals, their food habits, behavior, etc. Zoos are primarily set up for entertainment, conservation, education and research purposes. Presently, there are a large number of zoological parks spread all across the globe.